Hello and welcome to another episode in the series entitled How to do cool things with Deploy Hub. And in this episode, we're going to be looking at the domain model and how the domain model in Deploy Hub encourages uh, component sharing uh, and reuse while still allowing teams to exist in their own uh, walled garden, uh, working in isolation from each other so that individual teams uh, don't get on, uh, under each other's feet. Um, so in order to demonstrate this, uh, we have a domain model that's set up like this. We have uh, OpenMake, the organization uh, at the top level domain, and that's broken into two geographic regions. We have our UK domain and our USA domain. And if I were to open up uh, the UK domain, you can see that we have four projects uh, working inside the UK. There's our deployment engine for Deploy Hub, uh, Project Director, RTI and Trilogy, and the USA team have two subdomains of uh, Deploy Hub uh, web user interface and the Meister build engine. Um, now that means that if uh, the, the teams, the UK team is isolated from the USA team, I've logged in as the uh, as the OpenMake uh, user, so I can see uh, both subdomains. So I can look at uh, the the life cycle uh, that each uh, project team is using, and you can see that uh, we can have different life cycles uh, and different routes alive uh, for each team. So you know, Deploy Hub uh, deployment engine has a different life cycle to that uh, for Project Director. Um, so uh, everything, every object in Deploy Hub has its own domain, you know, applications, environments. Uh, so we've got an application here. We've got the, uh, the engine application and we have a project director application uh, there, for example. Um, and those, those engines, those uh, applications can be versioned and moved through the lifecycle. Now the applications are made up out of components. And if I ever look at the components tab, and expand that, you can see that we have a single uh, a shared component, which is Java Runtime version 8, and that is defined at the OpenMake level. What this means is that both the uh, UK uh, domains and the USA domains can, can see that uh, component. Right? Um, there are other components, um, so the USA uh, team has a component called uh, USA license and that is in the USA domain so only the USA uh, team can see that. Uh, the UK team on the other hand has a component called UK license which will be uh, spelt differently and have a few other different terms and conditions and that's only available uh, to the UK team. Um, so let me show you how that works in practice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, log out of the OpenMake user who can see both of those domains. And what I'm going to do now is just log in as a UK user. Now you can see when that happens, I can see my, uh, I can only see my UK domain. Um, I cannot see um, any of the uh, USA domains or the OpenMate domain. So all I can see is the, uh, the, the, the teams that are under control of the UK. So in this case, I can see my uh, deployment engine, my project director uh, and uh, trilogy. If I were to look at uh, the engine application now, what I can do is I can build up those, uh, the engine up out of the components that I have. And these components are uh, local to my uh, deployment engine. So what I can do is I can uh, create an application by dragging in uh, plugins. I can drag in my uh, API, plug in the listener. And uh, that allows me to build up this application. You notice, I, uh, because I only have access to the UK domain, I can't drag in any of the USA's components onto my uh, uh, application engine. Uh, all I can do is, um, is uh, drag in the components that are designed to the UK. However, you'll notice that there is a global components uh, field here. And if I were to highlight and expand that, you can see there's the Java runtime version eight. That was defined at the OpenMake level. And so this is available to me in the UK. Um, I can use uh, anything that's defined above my domain, any component that's defined above my dom home domain, I can use and drag on. So I can take this Java runtime and I can build, uh, I can add that uh, into my application. Similarly, if I were to, uh, oh, let me, let me add the, um, I'll add the UK license as well, just to be on the safe side. Now let me uh, log out of there and log in as a US, uh, based person and here you can see that we've now uh, our USA is the home domain and I can only see uh, deploy hub uh, web UI and and uh, Meister 
So uh, let us have a look at our web interface code here. And you can see again that we've only got access to our domains. But right, Java Runtime V8, because that was defined at the OpenMake level, is now available to me uh, to drag and drop uh, as an application component onto my application. So I can now build uh, my application up here from the database schema and the raw file. And I can also drag in my USA based license. I don't have access to the UK license, so I can't accidentally uh, drag in the long licensing mechanism uh, for the USA domain. Now, uh, that allows me to work in isolation. So the USA team can work in isolation with its components. The UK team can work in isolation with its components. And you'll notice though, that we can also share uh, the Java runtime because that's defined at a higher level and it's a shareable object. Now, uh, let me log back in as the OpenNet user again and just show you. So um, now uh, that component, you'll recall where the Java runtime was defined at this OpenMake level. Um, let us imagine then that the USA team have got this uh, uh, secure socket library um, that they're using and they want the UK to be able to share it. Right? So now we've got a situation where the, uh, the UK want, this, uh, want to use the secure sockets and the decision is made at the sort of open make corporate level that both the UK and the USA should be using the same libraries. So we're going to take that um, and we're going to make that available to the UK. So in order to do that, all I have to do is to take that component and just drag it to my open make level. And you'll notice now that at the OpenMate level, I've now got the SSL libraries. So if I now uh, log back in now as a, uh, a UK person, I'll go back to my uh, deployment engine and look at my assigned components. I've now got the SSL libraries available to me now on and add those in as a, as a shared component. So it's very easy to move things in and out of scope uh, for individual teams um, just by dragging and dropping it on the, uh, on that, through that domain hierarchy. Um, you'll notice that we've been uh, traditionally here been uh, logging in and logging out as geographic users. So, um, you know, a, a UK user and a USA user. Um, what I can do is to drill down still further and I can put users into individual development teams. So in this case, I've got a user. What I have is just at the deploy hub uh, deployment engine domain. So I am now uh, a developer purely in uh, the deploy hub development uh, deployment engine. Uh, and I can still see um, um, all of the uh, components, but I'm isolated now into my individual uh, team. So um, I cannot see uh, the other uh, applications that are part of this geographic region. I am basically a developer working uh, purely in the Deploy Hub deployment engine uh, team, and therefore I cannot see anything outside of that team. But I can still, of course, uh, share uh, those components. So you'll see, you know, I have access to the UK license now as a global component. The UK license has moved to be a global component because it's defined at the UK level, not at the Deploy Hub de uh, deployment engine level. So this is now still available to me as a draggable uh, uh, component, but it is, uh, it is actually defined at the UK level, uh, not my team level. So everything um, that you define um, in any domain as a component is available uh, to domains uh, beneath that domain in the domain hierarchy, assuming that you have permission to use it. Um, and so that allows uh, teams to share uh, components that should be shared. Um, so common runtime components that are shared across the entire uh, estate, but teams can still work in isolation from each other uh, and still work only with the components that they're uh, interested in. Uh, I hope you found that interesting. That's a, a unique feature to Deploy Hub, the domain hierarchy, um, and it makes for a very powerful enterprise tool because it means that teams can work in isolation while still sharing uh, what they need to share in order to be uh, productive. And it encourages uh, the, the reuse of components um, between teams. Hope you found that interesting. Thank you very much and goodbye.